Jones is uh, neither a classical album nor a jazz album, and yet it's both. Um, it has a sense of mystery to me, anyway. It says a lot about uh, about Kev that it's it's got a mysterious spirituality to it that can't really be confined to any one ideology. And uh, it's also a journey. It represents more than a musical journey. It's about two individual people, their lives, people of different ages who have uh, um, got this uh, very beautiful friendship, this musical understanding, and also celebrate our differences. And I think that after 10 years of working together, this album represents so much for both of us as artists and as human beings. I met Simon on a national tour with Larry Adler and uh, Simon was featuring with Larry on Rhapsody in Blue and Gershwin Prelude and um, I was leading the jazz trio. On that tour I heard Simon accompany Larry and with the most exquisite sound and uh, I was uh, absolutely thrilled. Uh, to be with Simon on that tour and to get to know him. I was playing the cadenza Rhapsody in Blue very fast, too fast, recklessly fast. And uh, Kevin was like, too fast, too fast. And yet you could tell this admiration in his eyes. Um, and I think that that kind, of, that kind of feeling has pervaded our collaboration. for a concert on the Central Coast in a theatre and I just brought one of my tunes that I'd been playing for about 20 years and just I thought oh let's have a go at this and I, I thought we'd just have a go to hear what Simon would play on it. It was, it was actually Woodlands, the, the title of our album and the, the improvisation Simon did in that rehearsal was absolutely staggering, it was so beautiful. The actual first time we performed together was in the New South Wales Art Gallery and Kev beckoned to me, go on, take a solo and uh, I took a solo and I don't think I ever gave it back, it was uh, pretty nasty um, but uh, it was the beginning of a very, very exciting and uh, nurturing relationship. Very soon after we started playing together and doing shows, we did a lot of shows um, early on, um, I always came off saying he's the jazz musician, not me, because he would um, pick me up. It didn't matter where we were in any piece, Simon would sort of invent something if I sort of went out left field, uh, which I think was remarkable. 